Oh, great. Thanks. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking everybody sees a kind of colorful cat in the left hand upper left. Indeed, we do. Yes. Great. Thank you. Um, so I just wanted to introduce this little language that, you know, it's yet another um, kind of interpreter that one makes just uh, out of uh, a uh, knee-jerk reaction, I guess you'd call it, to uh, certain things. And and I, I've been a long-time fourth fan. Um, and then, you know, um, also really also loved uh, Postscript and um, Cat, Joy and Cat and Kitten. And this is the progression of things that for me. And then I just sort of, I was unable to get a Joy executable to work on any of my machines um, I looked up old code that uh, Von Thun had done or something like that, and, and it just nothing worked. So I said, you know, it really should be zero install. So I built a JavaScript um, interpreter for, well, it was for joy, but now it has progressed a little bit past because, you know, it was just... Um, you know, I, I wanted it to be uh, reverse Polish notation and all this stuff, but I also wanted some other little things in it. So at any rate, it's, I, I have this little website and I've put it in the chat in case anybody wants to look at it. And it's um, a live interpreter. Uh, so we can, you know, we can multiply and we can do all kinds of things. And um, yeah, it's an introduction. It's, so this is considering that it's zero install. It means anyone can come and visit this and find something out about this kind of, this form of concatenative language. And it's, um, yeah, it's just sort of uh, having great fun with it. I guess my I'm going to keep it real quick. So my only point about this is that I've tried to implement all the things that Joy had, including uh, uh, linear recursion. So we can do linear recursion. Um, Joy doesn't have any kind of control flow other than an if else kind of thing. Um, but uh, I have linear recursion working. Oh gosh, you know, I, I really don't have time to go through all the things, but uh, you know, you, you can write a little prime factor, uh, you know, program with this where I can uh, find all the prime factors for a number. Uh, so that's kind of compact, kind of nice. I think the ultimate thing that uh, is in uh, Joy is that. Uh, this this program right here um, for bin rec uh, binary recursion is um, quick sort, and so it's it is kind of uh, like if you ever wanted a minimal demonstration of quick sort, I think probably that's a good contender. Um, you know, you can see that it's working. It's working live here. Uh, yep. Um, so. It's a lot of fun, and I just uh, wanted to make people, I just wanted to sort of show it off, I guess. Um, these are all the words that I have implemented, um, you know, and I'm having fun with it. I guess uh, also I've done some experiments with Canvas um, so that you can write to the Canvas uh, with it. So I, I have... Uh, I don't know if it's not a fully functioning game yet, but uh, sort of a little asteroids here. And um, lastly, I just wanted to say that probably the place I'm going to go with it is um, I'd love to have type checking in it. I'd love to have, uh, you know, make it into a strongly typed language. And um, ultimately, I'm following this project of Lean, which is a theorem prover, which would be um, you know, uh, uh, dependent types. So that's that's the kind of the leading edge of where it might go. But with that, I'll just kind of um, bring it back to, um, you know, if anybody has any questions, it's just uh, you could contact me or, um, yeah. It's so thank you very much for uh, listening to my mini presentation. Uh, thank you very much, Nate. It was certainly a wonderful system. And thank you also for uh, including all of these examples on your website. That's something that we don't do enough, I think. Um, can, I, can I just ask, can you also try uh, run these examples interactively? Um, yes, yes. You just type into the blue area um, and uh, 
yeah, it's it's a matter of just typing in those those are those are text boxes. So yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Zero install. I actually love that it has no type checking, but maybe that's just a few of us. So. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to hand over to Glyn, who has raised his hand, please. Uh, yeah, just a, a quick observation from my experiences with funeral, uh, which I mentioned uh, yesterday. Um, one of the things I very rapidly introduced was a notation for singlet quotations because they occur all over the place. I just used a single single quote mark before them to save the two square brackets like everywhere. And um, that made typing the program like markedly more comfortable. Um, I got you. And then the end of line is the end of the quotation. Uh, no, the end of the word is because it's only for singlet quotations. Oh, oh single, only... right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. So they, they, because they occur very frequently as okay. a special case. So I added a special case syntax for it. Anyway, I just thought I'd mention that. Thank you very much, Glenn. Uh, Uli, please go ahead. Yeah, um, following on that, Lisp uses uh, number sign uh, quote for the same purpose uh, to make uh, a function out of a symbol. Um, yeah. Um, can you elaborate a little bit on the, your implementation techniques? Because I discovered, uh, as you just mentioned, uh, that uh, the entire web page is interactive, so you can just change parameters and it does it. So it's it's implemented in JavaScript, or how do you do yes. it? Yes. Yeah, that, that particular one is in JavaScript. Um, I also, on my GitHub, uh, well, I have a little um, GitHub for the language, and there is a C implementation, and there is a t uh, Python implementation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they're all just hobby projects, so I don't guarantee them, and they're not ready for production use. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But yeah, this, the JavaScript was my first, um, is probably my primary language that I code in. So, Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the presentation, Nate.